Welcome back to Spot on Sports and My Point Exactly. I'm Grace Mercer, joined by Jamia White. We're going to talk about the Dallas Mavericks. Now, Mia, who do you think is to blame for the downfall of the season? I think a lot of blame has to go to the upper management front office. Um, starting with the coaching situation, trickling on down to the players that's on the court. Um, everything starts with them. They choose who to bring in, what roles these people play. And so they have to take blame for um, the trade situation and everything up until that point, um, leading up until Dallas is just downward spiral um, to where this season has gone for them right now. I agree. I believe that as much as the front office is responsible, it's time for them to start taking care of their investments as well. Um, we've spoken about this before outside of Spot On, but I think that Luca needs a sports psychologist. He's, he's childish in a lot of ways, but a lot of times he gets in his own head. And those are things that, that can be taken care of and worked on off the court. Dirk had his guy not only for, for on the court, but there was a lot of off the court investment in who he is as a player and a person. I think that's important. But also I think that this is one team that we can't blame Kyrie for ruining. I've been, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Kyrie. He's a phenomenal player and just nobody handles the ball like he does. He does magical things with it. But he's not responsible for this. He's come in, he's been a good teammate, he's been unproblematic, he hasn't drawn a lot of off-court attention to himself. And I think that it's time for front office and Luca to start taking responsibility of what's going on. Because it's it's not just this season that this has been an issue. I think um, as Luca gets older, well I say I hope, as Luca gets older that he'll mature more. Um, we gotta realize this kid came into this this stage of basketball at a very young age. And so it can be tough for him to adjust to the climate um, and still continue to play at a high caliber. Um, so you're right, a, a psychologist wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, but I also think to give him some credit and allow him to just mature over the years um, as still being around in the sport. Um, Jason Kidd, uh, from a coaching situation, has a lot um, of blame to catch in this as well. I think when you bring in a talent like Christian Wood, and you're not necessarily getting the max out of him that you should be getting, that says a lot. And I know a lot of people brought into what Jason Kidd could do for this team and what he could bring to this team. And we may have started last season with how they performed, but this season is just not translating. And so I don't know if he's lost the locker room or lost certain players, um, but there's definitely something going on between him and Christian Wood. Um, I don't care how they try to mask it, we can all see it because there's no way he, his minutes should be as limited as they are, um, especially in the small amount of minutes that he does get, he's still produ producing. And so that, again, is part of the downward spiral. And again, the front office has a lot to do with who they brought into their coaching position. I completely agree with, except for one thing. Um, the, the issue of Luca maturing, he's been a professional since he was, I believe, 14. How many, how many years of benefit of the doubt are we going to give him before it's time for him to go ahead and take care of, you know, take ownership? 14 year old playing with a dog. But, he, but he's how old now? He's still in his early 20s. So he almost 10 years of being, being a professional more than a lot of these guys that are older. I mean, if he was 30 and 40 years old still acting this way, and I mean, we've seen a lot of 30 year olds in the league who still complain a lot. You know what I mean? So it's still a thing of him just maturing and being able to adjust. You're right, he, he came in at 14, but he was playing with adults. And maybe they weren't taking him in as mentors to help him to become a better um, player in that sense. I don't know what that situation was. But I think if we give him some more time and allow him to continue to mature and grow, I think Luca will be fine. Absolutely, and I, I love Luca as a player in, in his game. I just, I hope that he matures sooner than later because I would love to see him stay in Dallas for the duration of his career and be a lot like Dirk. Um, I think there's a lot of potential there with the right guidance and right ownership. For sure, for sure. Thank you for joining us for this segment of My Point Exactly on Spot On Sports, where we're not just accurate, we're spot on. 